And here today, guys, to kind of make up for that, for not having a movie Monday last week, is a double feature where we have Decepticon Swindle and Autobot Camshaft. A basically re uh, a straight up repaint, no remote whatsoever, of a drone. <laughs> a drone that, uh, drone that, uh, both these are drones both used in the video games, but Swindle is a drone that's only used in the comics. Now, there were, there were three different, there were three different movie only figures. That came out. There are the the figures that came that appeared in the movies. There are the sub character. Uh, there are the sub characters that appeared in the comics. Appear in full movie features like RC and Cliffjumper. And then there were the drones. That there's basically that. Hey, we need to fill out the lines. Is a little bit more. These guys are simple, e easy, <laughs> easy design, easy to transform. They're cannon fodder and everything that they are. Let's go ahead and get them out of the way. And speaking of get them out of the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. These guys are basically your most generic, most standard sports car I've ever seen in my life. Um, Camshaft wins on the paint job, though. I really dig that silver. Um, mostly on the door. You can kind of see that there's an actual gap here. But in between the silver and the blue and the way the black is, it wins out for me. The orange has way too many different tones for me to dig it. Though he does win bonus points for hand and paint hubcaps, and of course it is the same on other on the other side. And of course you can see the tiny little Decepticon and Autobot sticker. Now his little hood part right here does is a little bit more broken up than Swindle's, but the back makes up for it. Where thanks to him having gray plastic and Swindle having orange, his taillights can actually be painted. His cannot. And of course the drone series, all the drones did have one. Uh, the sub, most of the sub-characters had some kind of gimmick going for them. Uh, the drones always had something, and even their generals did. And their gimmicks are... Built-in thrusters to make them go faster. I mean, this would make, you know, my 10-year-old self go like... <gasps> because I, you know, what kind of vehicle... What kind of awesome vehicle would it be without some kind of thrusters? But, anywho... Let's go ahead and get to transformation. Because these things are actually kind of simple. So you start by popping open the doors. Ooh, gotta adjust this more. Pull the legs apart. Turn him over. And you gotta de hook this. And then while I do the rest of it, I'm just gonna jabber a little bit. So, finally ca caught up on all the. Uh, so I finally caught up on on all of the uh, first movie uh, comic books. Uh, I think the only thing I haven't read is the actual movie adaptation, but as far as I've been told, there's no real difference except for a couple of lines and, a couple, and maybe one scene. And so far, yeah, uh, it kind of does... Especially the Rain of Starscream one, that was actually was really good. Um, it kind of makes me want to go back and appreciate the Revenge of the Fallen a little bit more. I have not read the Revenge of the Fallen prequel comics, though. And yes, you see that right, the thruster is his stomach. I thought this originally was a blaster, and thought this was stupid. Now he does have one more gimmick, where if you pull back his hood, the head will flip open. And, oh, he's going to kind of talk kind of quick, isn't he? Boop. Boop. And, uh, really, yeah, I would say if you guys can pick them up, I picked up my, all of mine from Second Trolls for like five to six, seven dollars a piece. And, I'll raise my tripod a little bit. And seeing that how they used to retail for almost fifteen dollars a piece, and depending on where you go, you can actually get all three for less than fifteen bucks. I really recommend doing it. Ugh. Drink of water, cause throat's going not throat's going out, but this is like my third or fourth take. <laughs> cause something usually happened. My phone ran out of space. This fell over. This fell over. This crashed and burned. Anyway. There is Autobot Swindle. And of course, boom. 
their swindle, exact same transformation down to the T. So I just went ahead and just skipped ahead on everything. Now, now the first question is, is how is the articulation on these things? Well, kind of a hit and miss, where they do have a kind of knee joint. Now, to warn you, these really don't click in unless I'm really missing a step. So if you're moving the legs, this will always come out like that. Uh, a somewhat ball joint where they'll go back, but not forward and barely out, but they will make sure they will go back as far as they can. Um, the toes can go up and down because of transformation, but that's it. And ball joints at the shoulders and hinge at the elbow and the little flimsy little ball joint at the hand. So you guys can get some okay posability, but not really because it, nope, nope, no, nope. barely any head articulation. They barely wiggle. But of course, the gimmick still works in this, in robot mode. Doot. And, uh, doot. Now these, fi now to kind of sum it all up, these figures are identical. Not bad for filler figures, f filler figures at all. And uh oh, uh oh. Okay, there we go. And of course, you can tell he came from that All Spark Power Wave because that All Spark Power Wave abused that blue. But I like the blue. I do. Um. He's the same way. Now, in conclusion, what uh, what can I say about these figures? Well, for figure for filler figures, they are not bad at all. The vehicle mode is boring as hell. It's the most generic sports car I've seen since Hot Shot and Hot or uh, Hot Shot and Hot Rod from the Energon and Armada lines. Their robots are okay. If you guys, uh, but oh, but to put it simply. If you guys can pick these things up for cheap, like I did, or definitely, or definitely say like, "Hey, add this to the lot for about five bucks," I I would recommend picking them up, especially if if you're going. <laughs> I would definitely recommend up if you're going to pick them up for cheap. Otherwise, other than that, guys, uh, stay tuned. Uh, Rare views is actually going to be posted on Friday, and uh, big reviews sometime before Valentine's Day, hopefully, if everything goes right.